back to the channel guys wanted to go through what i was helping a player with the other day that tended to have the lower body a little bit too active there's big ranges in this okay so some people need to move their lower body a lot some people need to have a little bit more stable lower body this is for players that tend to move their lower body a little bit too much finding it hard to sort of control how their hips are moving and leading to it to be a little bit not efficient through the ground and sort of how they're using their feet okay so this is really easy just have an exercise band here it's got decent tension on it this one okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it just under my knees for for this one okay so i'm going to have it sort of down here if i put it up higher it's a little bit easier the lower i get the more um, challenging it gets so i'm going to put it a little bit lower and highlight sort of the tendency for this player good player really good player when he was going back what was happening sort of two things in a dress he'd sort of start with the knees a little bit pinched in okay so what that's going to do is it's going to make it a little bit harder for me to rotate this back hip for most people unless i have like an immense amount of internal rotation in that hip if my leg is pinched in i'm really hitting that end range quick i can sort of feel how my hip reacts when i get to there okay so having it either i start with the knee in and then i let it move as i go back or i just start with the knee in a little more neutral position neutral being basically the knees over the shoelaces and then that way when i go back i've opened up this hip a little bit more allowing me to move more freely in that first move okay so the player had the knee kicked in when they would go back they ended up in a spot where this wasn't really opening much so they ended up uh, since as a good player this player just would drop and then when they would drop this lead knee would sort of dive down okay so if i'm looking at what the lower body is doing here we would sort of get here drop and then the lead knee would dive down that would sort of put us in that spot when i'm there it's, it's just a hard spot to get out of okay so what what i started to see was the upper body trying to help versus the lower body trying to help in that transmission move okay so that's again depends on the person how they react to that move so once we got the knees in a better spot at address, when they were going up, the band was giving them good feedback if this knee dove down. I'm okay with the knee coming across, but you can see how different the band looks. If I sort of, if this knee dives down and this hip drops out, you can see how the band, there's not much tension in that band versus even if I let this knee come across a bit, if this hip's in a good spot and this knee's in a good spot, there's still a bit of tension in that band and it's a good, really good sense to get that tension when I get to the top and then almost try to keep it as I transition. So the lead knee is gonna be moving forward. The trail knee is gonna to start to kick in. The timing of that is dependent on the person, but I would say like when I get to there, you can see how the, the tension in the band almost stays about the same, okay? So my lead knee's firing in, and then right when I get to about halfway down, you're gonna see the tension in the band start to change. So now this leg is starting to stabilize and react and push back. And you can see how that trail knee keeps firing in, okay? And then that's gonna help me get that rotation. If I go, again, from that draw position, now I'm a little bit more upper, upper body dominant. If I do a really good job with the band, so I got good tension here, keep the tension, and then start to lose the tension as I come into impact, it's a really good sense of what my lower body's gonna do in that transition move one it's going to stabilize this leg two it's going to help you use this trail hip through the shot so if i'm demoing it it would be here good tension keep the tension and then lose the tension as into impact unreal feel um use it good drill at home might not even need to hit balls with it but really give you a sense of what we're looking to do in that backswing and transition to use that lower body a little more efficiently, especially if you found it like that lead leg was sort of diving in and you're having a tough time feeling what the load in the back leg would be like. Uh, use the band drill, really easy. Start slow, get a really good sense. You can do lots of those reps. Might give you a new sensation, might help you play a little bit better. Hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching.